Hi, my name is Jason Sidhu, and I'd like to talk to you about leadership in the digital age. Leadership in the digital age requires a strong set of skills to successfully drive a team. One of the main reasons is that your team is more likely to be geographically and culturally diverse. In the age of digitization, with the emergence of virtual collaboration tools, leaders have to do things differently to compete in the global marketplace and deliver rapidly on increasingly complex projects in an ever-changing environment. In the digital age, leaders have to particularly be masters at the following five skills. The first one is leading without authority. In the digital age, hierarchical structures yield to more fluid lines of accountability and authority. Accountability for your team's performance isn't just going to be from you, but from project stakeholders, from end users and customers, uh, your team's peers, um, from other projects that he or she may be working on that you might not even know about because in the digital age, people can work on multiple projects led by different people who might be in different parts of the organization. Highly skilled people are highly sought after and can pick and choose what projects or side projects they work on. They're going to pick these projects based on a number of factors. Uh, how impactful the project is to the company and therefore their career, uh, the chances of success of the project, how committed are the stakeholders to the project, and does the project lead have a really good history of success? You'll need to attract the right talent uh, for your project team. And in turn, the project team members will be looking to you to remove bottlenecks and obstacles in order for them to be successful. In the digital age, you can't force people to work on your initiative, and why would you want to? A leader needs to be able to motivate people and inspire them to drive towards a common goal, because most of the people who work on your project probably won't be reporting to you. The second skill leaders need in the digital age is the ability to work collaboratively. As I said, people on your project teams likely won't report to you. You'll need to be a master of building a collaborative environment, yet your team will be dispersed across different time zones. Uh, Old-fashioned, tops-down, hierarchical uh, authority is being replaced by peer-to-peer -peer feedback. Performance is rated not by one's boss, but by one's peers, project stakeholders, and end users and customers. You have to learn to build strong and successful uh, teams that work with each other using collaborative technology and can thrive in a team-driven environment. If you're a master in a particular skill, but you can't work that well with others, you're going to struggle in an environment where the impact you have is dependent upon how well you work in a collaborative environment. The third skill is adaptability. In the digital age, things are changing constantly. People change all the time, uh, and chances are you won't be working with the same people two years from now. Uh, organizational changes happen more frequently as well. In the digital age, you likely won't have the same manager two years from now. You might not even be in the same organization or same part of the organization. Rapidly moving companies are constantly shifting, and mergers and acquisitions and spin-offs are much more frequent. Technology changes all the time, and you'll have to get others to use different tools and technologies every few years. You'll need to keep up uh, and keep on top of disruptive technologies uh, or you'll be left in the dust. You need to constantly upgrade your own skills. Any technical skills that you developed 10 years ago are going to be mostly irrelevant. Uh, as a leader, you need to hire for adaptability above everything else. You shouldn't be hiring for the particular job that is open today. That role could go away in a few years in the fast-paced digital age. Instead, you need to hire for fungibility, a set of skills that are transferable across any area of the company. The fourth skill is to be able to harness diversity. In the digital age, people are more valued for their particular skill sets that they can bring to a project. If the person has purple hair but can accelerate the delivery date of your project by a month, why would you care that the person has purple hair? So a true leader in the digital age isn't just someone who can put together a diverse team from different backgrounds or talk about the value of diversity. It's someone who can actually harness and 
um, harness the diversity of a team and turn it into a strategic advantage, uh, into a real competitive differentiator. Having a team with a global mindset and a diversity of experiences can improve your team's customer orientation and lead to better business decisions. Diversity increases employee satisfaction, it reduces conflict between groups, and improves collaboration and loyalty. It also fosters innovation and creativity through a greater variety of problem-solving approaches, perspectives, and ideas. Diverse groups of people bring to organizations more and different ways of seeing a problem, and as a result, faster and better ways of solving it. As a leader in the digital age, um, a great leader in the digital age, knows not only how to put together a diverse team that works really well together, but also knows how to harness that diversity for better decision making. Lastly, a leader must have strong fundamental program management skills. You must be able to track multiple projects simultaneously. And remember, projects are global in their scope, with people scattered across different time zones, with multiple deliverables and dependencies. Even if you're a junior le leader uh, in a junior leadership role, you won't be able to micromanage all aspects of your project, and it'll be impossible to performance manage every person. And remember, they don't report to you anyways. However, you do need to hold people accountable for their deliverables and have your thumb on the pulse of every aspect of the projects that you do manage. You'll need to be able to gather data constantly, sift through it quickly, and interpolate and extrapolate the relevant information. And you'll need to be astute at communicating the status of your projects with multiple stakeholders across functions and across geographical regions. You'll need to know the critical path of your projects and where your potential bottlenecks lie. Your job as a leader is to manage all of these different moving parts of all of your projects and keep your diverse group of team members aligned to the project goals and timeline. So to reiterate, leadership in the digital age requires these skills. Leading without authority, working collaboratively, adaptability, harnessing diversity, and program management skills.